Hello and welcome to Z. In this episode, we are traveling to North America and watch the inside mystery of Taiga Forest. Stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. Taiga. Taiga, also known as boreal forest or snow forest in North America, is a biome characterized by coniferous forests dominated by pines, spruces, and larches. The taiga, often known as the boreal forest, is the world's biggest land biome. It encompasses the majority of inland Canada, Alaska, and sections of the northern contiguous United States in North America. It encompasses the majority of Sweden, Finland, much of Russia from Karelia in the west to the Pacific Ocean, including much of Siberia, much of Norway and Estonia, some of the Scottish Highlands, some lowland slash coastal areas of Iceland, and areas of northern Kazakhstan, northern Mongolia, and northern Japan on the island of Hokkaido. The principal tree species, the length of the growing season, and summer temperatures differ from one region to the next. North American taiga is predominantly spruce, Scandinavian and Finnish taiga is a mix of spruce, pines, and birch, Russian taiga is a mix of spruces, pines, and larches depending on area, and Eastern Siberian taiga is a large larch forest. Taiga in its current form is a recent phenomenon, having only existed for the last 12,000 years since the beginning of the Holocene epoch, covering land that had previously been Mammoth Steppe or under the Scandinavian Ice Sheet in Eurasia and the Laurentide Ice Sheet in North America during the late Pleistocene. Although taiga grades into alpine tundra at high elevations via crumb holes, it is not solely an alpine biome, and unlike subalpine woodland, much of taiga is lowland. All cultures do not utilize the term taiga consistently. In the United States and Canada, the term boreal forest refers to the more southern regions, whereas taiga refers to the more northern, barren lands approaching the tree line and the tundra. Hoffman, 1958, explores the origins of this distinction in North America and how it distorts established Russian use. Climate change is a concern to taiga, and how carbon accounting should regard carbon dioxide absorbed or emitted is debatable. The Weather and Geography Taiga encompasses 17 million square kilometers, 6.6 .6 million square miles, accounting for 11.5% of the Earth's surface area, trailing only deserts and xeric shrublands. Russia and Canada have the greatest areas. Taiga is related with the Norland terrain in Sweden. Temperature after the permanent ice caps and tundra, taiga has the lowest annual average temperatures, with mean annual temperatures ranging from 5 to 5 degrees Celsius, 23 to 41 degrees Fahrenheit. The northern taiga's extreme winter minimums are often lower than those of the tundra. There are taiga locations in eastern Siberia and inner Alaska Yukon with mean annual temperatures as low as 10 degrees Celsius 14 degrees Fahrenheit, and the lowest consistently recorded temperatures in the northern hemisphere were found in northeastern Russia's taiga. Taiga has a subarctic climate with a wide seasonal temperature range. A normal winter day temperature of 20 degrees Celsius 4 degrees Fahrenheit and a summer day temperature of 18 degrees Celsius 64 degrees Fahrenheit might be expected, however the long, cold winter is the prominent feature. According to the Koppen Climate Classification Scheme, this climate is classified as DFC, DWC, DSC, DFD, and DWD, which means that the short summers, 24H average 10 degrees Celsius 50 degrees Fahrenheit or more, while generally warm and humid, only last 1 to 4 months, while winters, with average temperatures below freezing, last 5 to 7 months. 
The average temperature in the Siberian taiga during the coldest month is between 6 degrees Celsius 21 degrees Fahrenheit to 50 degrees Celsius 58 degrees Fahrenheit. There are also some considerably smaller areas grading towards the oceanic CFC climate with warmer winters, while the extreme south and west of the taiga reach humid continental climates with longer summers in Eurasia. According to some accounts, when the mean annual temperature hits about 3 degrees Celsius 37 degrees Fahrenheit, the boreal forest transitions into a temperate mixed forest. Discontinuous permafrost occurs in locations with mean annual temperatures below freezing, whereas continuous permafrost occurs in the DFD and DWD climate zones, limiting development to very shallow-rooted trees like Siberian larch. Season of Growth because plants in the boreal biome have a lower temperature threshold to stimulate growth than other plants, the growing season in the taiga is frequently slightly longer than the climatic definition of summer. According to some reports, the taiga has a 130-day growing season. The growing season is frequently estimated in Canada and Scandinavia by utilizing the time of year when the 24-hour average temperature is plus 5 degrees Celsius 41 degrees Fahrenheit or higher. The growing season in Canada's Taiga Plains ranges from 80 to 150 days and in the Taiga Shield from 100 to 140 days. Other sources define the growing season in terms of frost-free days. Data for Southwest Yukon sites show 80 to 120 frost-free days. The closed canopy boreal forest in Kenizersky National Park near Plisetsk, Arkhangelsk Province, Russia, has 108 frost-free days per year on average. The longest growth season is observed in smaller areas with marine influences. The growing season of the closed boreal forest can be 145 to 180 days in coastal areas of Scandinavia and Finland. The northern taiga tundra ecotone has the shortest growing season, where the northern taiga forest can no longer develop and the tundra dominates the landscape when the growing season is reduced to 50 to 70 days and the 24-hour average of the warmest month of the year is usually 10 degrees Celsius 50 degrees Fahrenheit or less. Because the sun does not rise far above the horizon at high latitudes, less solar energy is received than further south. However, the high latitude also provides unusually long summer days, with the sun remaining above the horizon approximately 20 hours every day, or up to 24 hours, with only 6 hours of daylight, or none, occurring in the gloomy winters, depending on latitude. Inside the Arctic Circle, the taiga experiences midnight sun in the summer and polar night in the winter. Fifteen interesting taiga facts. One, we'll have long winter evenings and long summer days. Two, the taiga forest has a 130-day growing season. Growing days are 50 to 70 days when the days are warm, with an average temperature of 10 C. When the average daily temperature is around plus 5 C, the growing days range from 80 to 150 days. 3. The Christmas tree, which is utilized all around the world, originated in the taiga forest. The Christmas tree leaf is an excellent example of the needle structure of trees in the taiga forest. 4. Tree growth is only visible during the warmer months. Even in the summer, they only grow for around 3 months. 5. Only in the taiga forest can you find soft timber wood, which is used to make paper. This softwood can grow and survive in the extreme cold of the taiga forest. The taiga forest alone contains 3 trillion trees. 6. Slow down the decomposition process in the taiga forest, and the undecayed plant forms a sponge-like layer on the ground. Only during the summer months does the decomposition process accelerate because streams and rivers melt and carry the necessary nutrients. 7. As the earth tilts on its axis, the taiga forest will experience long winter nights and long summer days. 8. The taiga forest has a 130-day growing season. 
Growing days are 50 to 70 days when the days are warm, with an average temperature of 10 C. When the average daily temperature is around plus 5 C, the growing days range from 80 to 150 days. 9. The Christmas tree, which is utilized all around the world, originated in the taiga forest. The Christmas tree leaf is an excellent example of the needle structure of trees in the taiga forest. 10. Glaciers completely blanketed the taiga ecosystem decades ago. As the glaciers began to melt, this woodland was left with cuts and depressions. 11. A little-known feature about the taiga forest is that it stores more carbon dioxide than temperate and tropical forests around the world. 12. Because of the frigid temperatures, the decomposition process in the taiga forest is sluggish and the undecayed plant forms a sponge-like layer on the ground. Only during the summer months does the decomposition process accelerate because streams and rivers melt and carry the necessary nutrients. 13. The taiga forest will endure long nights in winter and long days in summer as the earth tilts on its axis. 14. The taiga forest has a 130-day growing season. Growing days are 50 to 70 days when the days are warm, with an average temperature of 10 C. When the average daily temperature is around plus 5 C, the growing days range from 80 to 150 days. 15. The Christmas tree, which is used all around the world, originated in the taiga forest. The Christmas tree leaf is an excellent example of the needle structure of trees in the taiga forest. This is all for now. Thank you for being with us.